like respect, you know, like y'all really need like the respect. And I'm not saying that women shouldn't be respected, but uh, I do want to say one thing. The man needs to be way, way more respected. And the reason why is because in, in Ephesians, the Bible talks about this. Um, the church, it, it's it's the same with kids too. Like like the kids are supposed to respect the parents and the parents will love the kids. Like you're spo- like your wife is supposed to respect the husband and the husband's going to love the wife. Like there's certain, there's certain dynamics in relationships and they... They use this example in the Bible. I don't want to use this example, but they even use it for slaves. Like, like the slave is supposed to respect his master in return. The master will love the slave. But um, and the, they also use that same analogy for the church. If you love the church, or if you respect the church, the church will love the people. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's one of my favorite books of the Bible is because they talk a lot about respect and love. And when you really get deep into learning about respect and love, respect is love to a man. We we that's how that's how we know how much a woman loves us is how much she respects us. Like that's everything to us. Like it's not it, because women don't love unconditionally. I don't know if y'all know that, but I'll, I'll explain that. If y'all disagree with that, I'll explain in a second. But yeah, yeah, go, I, was yeah about to, I was about to say that. Yeah. You know, women only love a man for what he can provide. Um, you know, I heard the, uh, the bishop, uh, the preacher, Chris Rock, uh, say that uh, that, you know, uh, you love dogs unconditionally. You love your children unconditionally. Women are loved unconditionally. But men are only loved on, under the condition that they can provide something, um, and so yeah, I, I'm, I'm I agree with that. I know some of the ladies probably disagree with that table. I feel the heat on my shoulders, um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. necessarily disagree because I feel like we have been conditioned that a man is supposed to, or, or that a not in, even to condition, but we have learned that a man is supposed to head the household. Mm -hmm. He is supposed to run everything. He's Mm -hmm. supposed to provide. So in turn for him to go out and do these things, but you know, in turn later on in the conversation, does a man really know what that means to head a household, to really provide, to really be loyal. And then in turn, get that nurturing from a woman that he's looking for Mm -hmm. that fuels him to provide for the family. Mm -hmm. So I understand where me, when you mean more respect, than what he gives to me. I wouldn't say it like that, but I know what it means because you are the main person. You're the main, you're the first, you're the head. So you need the most ability. You need the most nurturing and the most care. So you can go out there and put us on your back or carry us and protect us. But that's only when When he's in his, he's he's doing it right. Doing it right. But I don't necessarily agree that you have to, Like respect and love isn't the same thing because you can love somebody and not respect them. I think that's the Mm. problem in a lot of relationships is that these men are telling women, oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. And the woman's like, well, if you love me, you wouldn't sleep with this person. You wouldn't like these pictures. You wouldn't do this. You wouldn't do that. Because to us, that's disrespect. So I don't think that love and respect necessarily come hand in hand. Well, see, we also have to keep in mind, ladies, that some men who are here liking other pictures. See, let me tell you what happens. When you get in a relationship with a woman and you just love on her and you, y'all good, when y'all get together, y'all fucking like rabbits. And then a year in, y'all still good. Then all of a sudden, there's relationship gets serious. And after relationship gets serious, then everybody start, okay, now sex every day to two days. Now we're down to one day. Then the guy's like, hey, baby, I need more from you. Then you're not giving him what he needs. He's asking for a lot. I've seen it. I've seen women tell their husband, oh, you know. You can go by yourself. Uh, you can go to the concert by yourself. You can go to the game by yourself. I don't feel like it. My head hurts. I don't. T- and then he goes to work, and Amber's at the copy machine saying, "Hi, handsome. How are you this morning?" And all it starts is as a conversation. Next thing you know, it's coffee. Next thing you know, she toot it up, and then it's a problem. So I think that everybody, if you go to counseling or go to any therapist, they will tell you the first issue in a relationship that breaks or any type of cheating happens. Both people play a part, and a lot of women quit on their men, and a lot of men hold on to it for a while. But there's, no, I'm telling you, pressure busts pipes. If a man, let me tell you something, let me, let me play a game with you. Go ahead and find a man that you feel is being deprived from his woman, and walk up to him and grab his hand and just hug him. I guarantee you, 98% of them will collapse in your arm a little bit before they get their minds back and say, "Oh shit, this ain't my woman." There's a lot of men being deprived, and they don't, and men don't talk. Men have expectations. I expect you to be loving, and then if you're not, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to fire you, but let you keep working. Mm, But see, that's the thing, if you don't mind me saying. Mm -mm. That's what we were talking about outside before this, was Mm -hmm. being communicative communicating mm-hmm. and talking to your woman about mm-hmm. your expectations about mm-hmm. what you want from her mm-hmm. and her what she wants from you mm-hmm. and if that mm-hmm. is opening on the table everybody can say i'm not fucking with that i can walk away yeah. or they can say you know what these are the things i know i need to do 
possibly. Right. Mm-hmm. And then y'all can even have open dialogue about that and talk about it. But if a man is not going to come forward and say how he feels or at least try, then we're kind of like in that gray area That's where right. all of the other stuff slide in between there. See, these are just moments where I go viral on this show. Because a few months ago, I had I said something on this show that got millions of views. And I'm going to say it again tonight. Go ahead. A man's vulnerability. When a man gets with you, he will give you that for free. Now, it's very hard for a man to give you that. But he will eventually give you that. And when he gives you that, let me tell you the mistake that women make. Mm-hmm. You take it for granted. So say, for instance, me and you are, are together. Okay. And I say, you know what? When I was growing up, my mama wasn't shit. She treated me like shit. She talked to me like shit. And I just need to be with a woman that does not do that or okay. does not cause that. And then as soon as me and you get into an argument, guess what happens? You do that. You say, see, I see why your mama did that shit to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then as soon as you do that, he's done with you. Mm-hmm. He ain't going to tell you that. But he done with you. And then somebody wouldn't be like, why are you so disconnected? Because four months ago, you said some shit you shouldn't have said. That scarred him deeply. But he ain't going to say nothing because guess what? Men have a problem. They don't leave. They don't leave. They stay right there in it. They stay right there. That Okay, I got to stay for the kids. I got to stay because I'm stable. I got to stay because I bought this house for my family. I got to forgive her one day, but I'm never going to trust her again. And that's what happens in a lot of situations. That's why a lot of these men are like the, like know the way they are and a lot of women do that to their men and think it's okay to say that talk about the things that he shared deeply with you well i think because you're not the first person that said that i've heard a lot of men complain about that and i've had conversations with multiple men and every single time when it comes down to like the nitty-gritty of the conversation of why relationships (laughs) don't work for them or why they feel unsafe or don't want to give it another chance is because like you said they women take that vulnerability for granted but i think a lot of that is also still communication because like you know women we're emotional yet we're taught to be emotional y'all are taught to be logical Mm -hmm. so when we're in an argument it's a it's like second nature for me to cut you with my words because that's what a woman can do. A woman knows the right things to say. When we're nurturers. We're taught, like how she was saying earlier, we're taught that. It's kind of like instilled in us, but we're also taught it. So we know what the right things to say are. We know what the wrong things to say are. Mm-hmm. And even if those wrong things are the right things for us in those moments to cut you, it doesn't matter. At that point, it's fair game. You know, and I'm not saying that that makes it okay. That does. That's what quite literally makes it a problem. But that doesn't become a woman problem at that point that becomes a childhood problem how did you grow up who taught you how to communicate when you get upset Mm -hmm. who taught you how to you know voice your problems who taught you how to respond to other people's problems Mm -hmm. and that's no longer a gender problem that's now a you problem hey y'all sergio here i just want to mention i've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how i went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media so if you're struggling to get out there if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.